Hello everyone, Will again here. So I'm gonna start this video where I should have finished the last video and that is in the bottom shed. So as you all saw in the last video, I was clearing this all out and I couldn't show you the finished article. Basically, the lights have gone and we need to get the electrician out. So this is what it's all looking like guys. It's all cleared and ready to go. So the plan today, we're gonna go and get the U's in while well, the twins and triplets bring them in and then they are in for lambing. But first things first, Need to get these all bedded, get the haylage out, and in the top shed too. So that's the plan, that's what we're gonna crack on with. I really hope you enjoyed today, guys. If you do, please tap that like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven. So let's do it, let's crack on with it. meant to say to you, come on now, to me, to me, well this isn't a very good Chuckle Brothers impression. Oh, you're on. So that is one shed down, it's all bedded and fed, ready for the use. Now we've got one to go, so we'll hop on to the top shed and get that one done too. Right guys, so that is the top shed all bedded up. It only took four big square bales. Me and Ellie are a little bit knackered, aren't we, Elle? Slightly. Yeah, just slightly because there's two in the bottom shed too. So six bales by hand is not ideal, but we've got plenty of straw in here for them, so it'll be nice and comfy. Plenty of feed, two bales of feed. So what we're gonna do now is go to the ewes, go and get the twins and triplets in, split them up so the twins in here, triplets down the bottom like I keep saying, and that is basically the plan. So, Put the trailer on and we best get going. Well, that could have been a disaster. We got here in the nick of time. One of the ewes was cast on its side. This one here. You right, girl? I think she's all right. There she's there. You imagine, when we got here, me and Ellie thought she was dead on her side, and it just shows there was someone walking past on the footpath and just left her. So please, if anyone does ever see a cast ewe, run into the field and just push them over because it could save their life. But yeah, just these are the bearing ewes actually. So these going out the field so we can push twins and triplets through. So let's go through that gateway. Good job done. Man, that could have been a disaster. Caught it. Hey! Slow! Whoa! Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes That is 
is the use all moving along nicely but we have two straddlers that are just over here so the question is do I go through the water or around the water I think I'm gonna do it thankfully all this minor oh oh sh oh excuse my language maybe this is a bad idea oh god this is a bad idea I'm going round. I'm going. Oh no! I got wet feet. Oh god! Never try and cut corners. You just end up not doing what you aim to do. Right, that was much easier. Just walk around it. Go on, girls. Yeah, you go. Keep going. Oh, I'm out of breath. I just jogged it around. We may be working on a Sunday, but it is such a nice day. Sun is out. It's not too cold. Sheep are loving it, we're loving it, we're also out of breath. Come on girls, <whistles> moving on nicely. Don't want to push them too hard because obviously they're pregnant. So, should soon be in, fingers crossed. Keep it going girlies, not you Barbie. Oh, they go. good girls. Watch Barbie. Barbie is a menace. She literally turns and like, can I get out now? Can I get out now? No, Barbie, no. Come on, girls. If you grab the end there, then I'll hold. Twizzle it around a little bit. Right, -o, so that is all the use in. Literally, we're gonna get them straight on the trailer and away we're gonna load all the twins first, split off the triplets and take their mass. So let's crack on with it. We don't want them sitting around for too long, so best be quick and get them all on look who it is hello barbara right girls let's go let's go come on come on girl you're next you're a triplet good girl yeah, come on good girl good girl good girl that way go on come on girl come on girl come on girl come on girl up you go girls Fire away. Go on now. Go on, go on. Right out, let's go again. Bottom deck. I think that's the triplets to start with. Come on, guys, your triplets. Both of you. Come on, in there. Good girls. Good girls. Good girls. Oh, oh I spotted a single, it's in the wrong one. Come on, girls, let's go. Let's go. Come on, girls, let's go. Let's go. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Triplet in a quad. Come on, triplet. Triplet. That's the quad. I think we're all full at the end. Right guys, we are back again and we're soon into it. Fire them down there now, fire them down. That's it, we're flowing. We're flying now, we're going. Go on, girl.
Righto, we are back for the final load of the day. Just backed up. These should be fairly simple. I think there's one triplet ready to go. And that's pretty much it. Right, fire them down again, Al. Fire them down. Baron. It's a Baron. Ellie, don't do things like that to me. I don't think there's a triplet. Single. Oh, there is a single. Why is there a single? Go on, go. Good, good. There's actually a twin in there that we missed. Blow me out. I've accidentally put two singles in with a triplet. That's not ideal. Well, not in with triplets, in with triplets and twins. Right guys, so I've made a slight error and I've put one of the twins in with the triplets. So we're just going to push that last twin into the trailer, which means the top deck is just the twins. And we're going to put all the triplets and the one quad in the bottom and then we're off. Fingers crossed, goes to plan. That's it, that's the last twin in. It's gone girl, up yet. I'll close the trailer up. Right, let's finish these off. Go on girls, time for home. Time for a nice warm shed. Good girls, good girls. Come on girls, come on girls. Right guys, so that is us back with the final load. Excuse the hair, hat hair, not ideal. So we're gonna drop the triplets into this shed here. Just gotta open the gates while Ellie opens the trailers. Apologies if you can't see me now because it's pitch black. So we're quickly gonna open these gates up so these yous can come in. One open, two open, and then we're gonna run back to where you can all see me, hopefully. Right, we're back in some sunlight. I say sunlight, it's more like moonlight now. Right, Ellie. These girls go. Come on, girls, come on. Out you go. She's lying down. They're all falling over, quick, quick, quick. Right guys, so that is all the ewes unloaded. They've all pretty much settled down until I came in here. They've all tucked in some hailage and they all look pretty damn happy. So the trip was pretty the same. We dropped them off. And as you probably saw there, we stopped the video um, as we were unloading them. So we had a little bit of a disaster, not the best end to the day. But when we were unloading the triplets, um, a couple at the back had fallen over and one's been crushed and we've actually lost a ewe, which is not ideal. Not the best way to end the day, especially I was in a pretty good happy mood as we got it all done smoothly without any problems, but it is what it is, we can't do anything about it. I tried to be as quick as possible to get the ewes off her, but too late unfortunately. And we hadn't overloaded them, we hadn't underloaded them, so they fell about. It's just a couple of ewes at the back fell on each other and never had it happen in seven years, so I suppose it happens to everyone, but just not the best way to end the video, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it, guys, for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry I'm not that cheerful, but as you probably know, not the best way to end. So please like the video. I really appreciate that. And you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe to the channel because you want to see more stuff like this. All the happy stuff, because lambing is coming soon. It's going to be all happy. Not the rubbish stuff like what just happened. And yes, guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. See you later. Right, guys, so I didn't really want to end the video just like that because I wanted to finish it and not just leave it like at an end like that. Unfortunately, we did lose you. Yes, we did have a disaster and things like that do happen on farms. Unfortunately, really sad time that like, just after the end of the video, not probably the best mood I was in to end the video, but I wanted to leave it in guys because things like that do happen on farms and I wanted to show people the real life of what actually does happen. I've never had it have had it happen before in a trailer but I guess these things can happen. The sheep were muddy so I guess one at the back just slipped over and two ewes were on top of her and she suffocated. Um, very gutting because I really care about the livestock on the farm and as you can probably see by how I ended it before I was just devastated and just to think that one of the sheep suffered in that trailer it's just not good and that's why I want to end it again just to say thank you for watching guys I really appreciate you 
seeing things like that on the channel and seeing real life farming it's not all good we do have bad days well we probably have more bad days than we do good days but the good days do make it worth doing so please stick around to the channel guys and hopefully we'll have in soon as said before good times are on the way and thank you for watching guys and i'll see you next time